Hello everyone, it's your boy Ian, and welcome to Fungi Gaming TV, and in today's spell break video, I'll be going over the new talents and consumables being added to the game this week. Also, I'll be giving my thoughts and opinions on these items and sharing some ideas I have already, but before I get into today's video, if you guys haven't yet, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below, so that way you can be informed on the next spell break news and update videos that I'll be covering every single week. Because things are about to get really spicy as the new update and chapter system arrive so stay tuned but okay guys let's get straight into it uh, the new talents that are being added to spell breaks are called vigor foresight and ambidextrous vigor which is in the mind talent tree costs three points which maxes out your health devs go on to say on the reddit post that this talent isn't anything flashy but it's very powerful so basically guys it's pretty much looking like a tank talent they also added that if you pair Vigor with the Recovery talent, that you will be a difficult opponent to take down. And just a refresher, the Recovery talent is simply a way to regen your health over time when you take in damage. Pretty much, this is a good way for players to always have consistent health, making it basically a tank build. And if you're pretty good with managing your fights, well, then I can see you can be hell to go against, especially in the late game. Which is good for you, but not for your opponents. Foresight, on the other hand, comes from the body talent tree and also costs 2 points, which gives players the ability to see future storms and mana vaults on the minimap, but also most importantly, in my opinion, the best part of Foresight is the ability to see enemies on the map as well. While the cooldown is a bit long in the beginning stages, it can still be very viable not only to you, but also to your team, making Foresight to play as a supporting role. And the more scrolls you read to level up Foresight, the shorter the cooldowns will become and that's when you can strategize quickly with your group as the circle gets smaller and smaller. So a recap, Vigor can play as a tank build giving you max health and Foresight can play out as a supporting role giving you the ability to see future storms, vaults and enemies on the map. I think Foresight can be strong in solos as well since some players like to hide in the shadows and this will allow you to see them even if they're crouching in a bush waiting to ambush you. Now the last talent that's on the list is called Ambidextrous. Now this is the talent that I'm most interested in because with Ambidextrous you'll be able to access the level 1 skill on your offhand gauntlet. To me that sounds pretty dope because for an example my favorite class to run with is the Toxicologist class but I like the mobility of the Tempest class. So if I use Ambidextrous Talent and pair it with the Toxic as my main and the Wind as my secondary, this will allow me to have the level 1 skill on the Wind Gauntlet called Wind Surge, which gives me the ability to use Wind Shears to Wind Jump, giving me the mobility of the Tempest class. Now of course I haven't tried out this yet, but once the update lands, I will definitely be testing this out, because if you guys haven't seen my Toxic Build video I made a few weeks back, I demonstrated how you can use the Toxic class as a Vanishing Assassin, which I call that build the Toxic Vanisher. This build allowed you to go invisible three times by using the Shadow Step Rune, the Runic Fluency talent, and activating the Vanishing Mist skill. It's a very good build if you use correctly. I've won so many games just by using these combinations, but I've always wondered how to give this combo more mobility. And the devs answered my prayers <laughs> uh, by adding ambidextrous. However, I'm still going to go and test it out to be sure. And that's it for all the new talents coming to Spellbreak. And now let's go over the new consumables. There are two new potions being added along with the talents. And these potions are called Safeguard and Knowledge. Safeguard is a new potion that refills both health and armor. This potion is considered an epic rarity, so it will not stack in your inventory. Activating a small safeguard potion for 5 seconds of drinking it, you will be given 25 health and armor over the course of 10 seconds. And with the large bottle of safeguard, drinking it for 8 seconds, giving you a total of 50 health and armor for over 10 seconds. These large bottles are considered legendary and also cannot be stacked as well. Just a side note, I don't know if anyone has confirmed yet if using the Thirsty Talon would benefit when consuming these potions, because it would help a lot actually. 
but I guess we're going to have to wait and see. Lastly, we have the Knowledge Potion. This consumable, after drinking it for one second, gives you two bonus charges to your ruin and sorceries. Wait, what? <laughs> That's pretty huge. The Knowledge Potion will also count as an epic rarity, so it won't stack. Wow, that's crazy. A potion that's going to allow you to go wild with your spells and runes? Expect to see some chaos on the battlefield coming this week. <laughs> but I know it's going to be absolutely a fun time for Spellbreak players, trying out new talents, potions, while diving into the new chapter systems, while waiting for the sweet Halloween outfits. <laughs> Shoot, what an exciting time. I know I'm hyped. If you guys are hyped as well, Show this video some love and hit that like button. And let's find out the new meta builds for Spellbreak once the update goes live. And with that being said, that brings us to the end of this video. I just wanted to quickly say that I am very grateful for you guys taking the time out of your day to watch my videos. That really means a lot and I can't thank you enough. So I hope you guys all have a great day and until then, I will see you on the next one. Peace out.